हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इनटू दिस सेकंड लेक्चर फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज सैम्पलिंग इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वे हैव सीन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द सैम्पलिंग ओके देन द टर्म्स इन्वॉल्व इन दिस सैम्पलिंग दैट वे आल्सो सीन इनटू द प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन दैट केस we have seen the universe or the population sample and sampling technique sample unit increments cross sample sub sample and analysis sample okay hope you understood this now today we will start the factors affecting when we do the sampling okay there are actually three major factors in that first factor is the nature of the bulk material and its homogeneity okay see bulk material means what the universe or the population okay and its homogeneity that means how much level it will be homogeneous one okay so in sampling is easy when the material is homogeneous that means when we do the sampling process at that time the material will be homogeneous then the process will be very easy if it is heterogeneous then the process will be not easy one okay the small or fine particle of sample gives an accurate composition of whole sample okay our sample material consists of a very small or fine particle then the process will be easier one okay but it will be very lumps or very bigger size particle then the sampling process will be will not accurate at that time okay the sampling process involves number of steps for a homogeneous material if the material will be homogeneous at that time there will uh, there will be actually very long process okay that we have seen in previous lectures that is in your of the population sample sample technique sample unit increments cross sample sub sample and then the analysis sample these are the actually steps the greater homogeneity more number of steps will be involved to obtain or draw on this sample material if it is homogeneous there will be higher steps involved for the sampling process so second one expected accuracy of the results expected accuracy that means when we do the sampling process at that time the results were obtained okay that results should be very accurate so accuracy should be very high for a vital analysis example for that suppose purity of oxygen used in hospital should be should be very high or sampled with more care as the result may be we influence the patient will while oxygen use in welding industry need not be sampled with more care okay that means in the hospital suppose the patient okay at that time the purity of the oxygen should be very high one or we can say the results obtained from that ox material will be or handle it will be very care but oxygen required in wind welding industry that will not be very accurate then also it will be okay so last number factor is the cost and time of analysis okay in this case the time required for sampling should be 
should not be very long and the cost of sample should not be more than the cost of the product okay that means when we do the sampling process at the time it will require very high time or duration that will be not okay for us okay and the cost of that sampling process it also the not should should not be very high one okay so these are the three actually factors now we will move towards the importance of good sampling okay what are the importance of the good sampling so first importance sample should be truly representative of the universe from where it has been drawn that means the sample we are taking from the universe that will be truly representative that means it consists of a all essential properties okay so second importance is there should be not any bias while selecting sample okay there should not be any bias when we select the sample material third importance is it should be possible to measure this sampling error okay that means when we do the sampling process at that time we can find out or detect the sampling error fourth number importance the results obtained from the sampling study is in general should be applicable to the entire bulk of the material okay that means the results obtained from the bulk material that will be totally applicable to entire bulk material or you can say the universe or the population fifth number importance is the purpose of sample should be known that means whatever we are taking that means whatever sample we are taking from the universe or the population the purpose actually known to us first of all sixth number importance is the sampling plans need not be more accurate than the accuracy of the test sample that means sampling plan should not be more accurate as compared to the accuracy of the test sample seventh number importance is the cost of this sample test should be considered okay that means the cost of this sample ultimately changes the cost of the products okay the sampling procedure may involve a number of stages okay as follows for that we required different steps right or we can say stages actually first stage is bulk material second stage is sampling unit third one is gross sample fourth one is sam sub sample and last one is the analysis sample these are actually the stages okay so bulk material means what the universe of the population sampling unit from we are taking the increments okay increments means what each sample unit from we are taking the small small increments okay from the increments when we mix properly we will get the gross sample gross sample we can actually say the mini universe okay from the gross sample we are taking the sub sample that will be useful for the different purposes right okay from the sub sample we are taking the analysis sample that will be very accurate or accurately weighing sample material that will be useful for the analysis purpose okay this is about the importance of good sampling okay now we will move types of sampling okay there there is two types of sampling first type is random sampling and second type is non random or we can say systematic sampling okay in that case first we will see the random sampling random sampling so the definition of this 
द सिलेक्शन ऑफ सैम्पल विदाउट एनी बायस एंड इन ए वे दैट गिवस फुल फ्रीडम टू द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द चांस फैक्टर इज कॉल्ड एज रैंडम सैम्पलिंग दैट मीन्स वेन वी डू द रैंडम सैम्पलिंग एट दैट टाइम द सैम्पल विद कंसिड ऑफ विदाउट एनी बायस विच गिवज फुल फ्रीडम ओके टू द ऑपरेशन ओके इज कॉल्ड एज द रैंडम सैम्पलिंग इन द रैंडम सैम्पलिंग एवरी इंडिविजुअल आइटम हैज इक्वल चांस ऑफ चांस बींग सिलेक्टेड दैट मीन्स एवरी इंडिविजुअल आइटम प्रेजेंट इन टू दूनिवर्स और यू कैन से ग्रॉस सैम्पल और वॉट एर इट मीट मे बी ओके दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए पार्टिकल दैट इज पार्टिकल हैविंग इक्वल चांस टू सिलेक्ट ओके और इन दिस टाइप ऑफ सैम्पलिंग रिक्वायर मिनिमम नॉलेज रिक्वायर मिनिमम नॉलेज ऑफ द बल्क मटेरियल इट इज द बेस्ट टेक्निक वन ऑफ द बेस्ट टेक्निक ऑफ सिलेक्टिंग ए रिप्रेजेंटेटिव सैम्पल दिस रिजल्ट ऑफ टेन फ्रॉम रैंडम सैम्पलिंग विल बी एक्यूरेट एंड रिलायबल That means whatever result we are getting from this random sampling, that will be the very accurate and reliable one. When the bulk material is homogeneous, random sampling easy. But when sample is heterogeneous, bulk material are to be taken by different procedure. Okay, in this case, the bulk material having very homogeneous at that time, random sampling is very easy one. okay but it will be the heterogeneous at that time for sampling it will require different procedure or we can we can say the require it require very different stages or the steps for drawing the sample by this random sampling okay so in this method of random sampling the material is first divided into groups small small groups okay processing that means when we do the processing at that time so we consist of some larger particles some smaller particle at that time there is very different procedures that for grinding of that whole bulk material okay after the processing some characteristics from each group samples are drawn randomly okay then we will see the examples of this random sampling okay actually there is two examples first example material such as ore suppose we will consider the ore exists such as particulate solid or lumps of various sizes the lumps are spread separated into groups of appropriate equal size and from each group sample are drawn randomly that means we consist of a ore okay or we can say particular that ore consist of a particular solid or the lumps that means some consist of a very high bigger size particle or, or you can say lumps of the various sizes different different sizes some small particles some bigger particle and some lumps okay from that we are made the separate groups of bigger size particles smaller size or lumps particle okay from that each group we are taking equal sizes from each group okay and from that we are taking the sample material the second example is the the particular solid matter is to be taken sample at random from conveyor belt or carrier belt which carries the ores from truck or wagon okay so in this case very bigger size truck or the wagon carries the ore material that is 
they are taking from the mining okay that bigger size ore or you can say lumps of the that ore they are placing over the continuously moving carrier belt or the conveyor belt okay at that time when the ore going from over that belt okay from each time interval we are taking randomly the very minute particles or you can say sample material from the belt okay that is the sample material okay this is about the random sampling now the second type is the non random sampling or systematic sampling non random sampling and systematic sampling actually this sampling is useful those case where analyst or you can say chemist made complete list of all atom of universe or population okay its name itself indicates non random sampling or systematic sampling for that purpose we have to made a complete list or complete step or complete stages of each and every required material okay in systematic sampling sample unit drawn in a definite sequence at equal intervals from one another okay while drawing the sample from the anywhere okay at that time it will require a sequence of equal intervals there should not any error while drawing the sample material example of this non random sampling or systematic sampling first example if every 10th tablet made by tableting machine is selected as the sample that means one machine is there that machine is making or making the tablet okay from that tablet we are making the packets okay so that packet consist of a 10 tablets okay that 10 tablet we are consider or we can say selecting as the sample material okay that is the systematic sampling so second example every 12th 12th bottle of a soft drink made by bottling plant is selected as the sample then the method of sampling is non random or systematic sampling okay okay in this case the bottling plant one bottling plant is there that bottling plant is making the soft drink bottle okay soft drink bottle so in that case every suppose a 10 minute interval or okay say 15 minute interval at that time the 12th bottle of soft drink will be made by that bottling plant is selected as the sample then the process we can say the non random sampling or we can say systematic sampling so this is about the types of sampling okay now in the next lecture we will see the different sampling processes while selecting the solid liquid and gases sampling okay thank you